or hippopotamus, a creature with an interesting Oklahoma connection. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. Sings better than a hippopotamus is all I want. Meet Gayla Henderson, or Gayla Peavy as she was known when she was a little girl singing on Oklahoma City radio and TV. Her big voice got her a contract with Columbia Records. In 1953, when she was just 10 years old, Gayla was selected to sing a quirky Christmas tune. My mother and I were flown to New York and uh, it was uh, quite exciting because we had not ever been to New York before. Big, you know, recording studio in New York. Mitch Miller, big, full orchestra. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. Is that enough? <laughs> Don't want a doll, no dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't think Santa Claus will mind to use. And I put no crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. <laughs> and I, I didn't know if they would like that or not. And Mitch Miller said, keep it, keep it. I like that. <laughs> Well, the entire country liked it, and the song became a nationwide hit in 1953. Gayla became quite the celebrity, making appearances all around Oklahoma City. Then the Oklahoma City Zoo, which never had a hippo before, used Gayla and her song as a fundraiser. They started running ads in the paper and telling kids, hey, you know, let's send in your nickels and dimes and uh, we can raise enough money to buy Gala Hippo, and it was called the Gala PV Hippo Fund. <laughs> and they were able to buy Matilda and ship her in on Christmas Eve. She came in a crate, and I was the first one to peek in and see her, and it was quite exciting. To escape all the attention Gala was getting in Oklahoma, she and her family moved to California, and she recorded more tunes under the name Jamie Horton. But none of them ever reached hippo status. With this resurgence of popularity, the song has generated all kinds of uh, merchandise. And this one, if it's a ball that you bounce and it, you can hear me singing hippo. This one, it's a... <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Oh, people really think I'm just raking in the money and royalties and everything. Not, <laughs> not true. I wish it was, but... Uh, um, probably the writer of the song is getting royalties, but the artist, I get nothing. I got nothing. Zippo. But just the fun of, you know, having people hear the song and, and know that it was me singing it, I guess is going to be it. Gayla only gets back to Oklahoma City every once in a while, so we didn't ask her to come up with something for the letter I. 